The name Mongolia has always stirred up visions of the untamed and exotic, the warlord Genghis Khan, camels wandering in the Gobi Desert, and wild horses galloping across the steppes. Even today, Mongolia seems like the end of the earth. Outside Ulaanbaatar, you begin to wonder if you haven't stepped into another century, rather than another country. It remains one of the last great adventure destinations in Asia. Mongolia's survival as an independent nation is little short of miraculous. For the first time in centuries, the Mongolians, once rulers of the vast Eurasian steppe, are no longer colonial subjects of the Russian and Chinese empires. Only a century ago, so few Mongolians were left that it seemed their ancient nomadic civilization might disappear altogether. Now the country has a democratic constitution, multi-party elections. The Mongolian way of life is nomadic and intimately connected with the ways of animals. Despite urbanization, the traditions of the steppes lives on. Even in the cities, Mon most Mongolians continue to live in Jur, a large white felt tent that can be moved easily and has a universal layout. The door always faces south. Mongolians have always taken wholeheartedly to Tibetan Buddhism and the links between Mongolia and Tibet are old and deep. Once in a lifetime, every devout Buddhist Mongolian tries to reach the holy city of Lhasa. The Tibetans, in turn, have relied on various Mongolian tribes to sustain their power. There is so much to explore in the great openness of this pristine environment. The Gobi Desert, the winding Tool River, or the rolling hills of the vast plains. Mongolia, where life goes to be wild.